the night is dark and full of terror. Can you smell that? Oh, I have something for you. My children of the night, I have this horror block. Oh, yeah. And I'm sure you're dying to see what's inside. Let's take a gander and let's do it together, shall we? I'm a sucker for horror block. And the first thing that pops, and no pun intended, is a pop. And guess who? Hannibal freaking Lecter, Clarice. Oh yeah, I loved Silence of the Lambs, like the first one, the original one. The second one was meh. Jolie Foster, she didn't even like, she, wanted, she didn't want to be part of it because I think they were jumping the shark, you know, the guy eating brains and everything. But yes, I like it. And they talked to me about the Hannibal, the series. I'm, I have to get onto that. Right now I'm watching American Horror Story, but I digress. Let's move on. Here's the thing that I love the most of this blocks, crates, whatever, the t-shirt. And let's see what did I get. And uh, let me see right here. Where is it? I can't see. <gasps> oh my God! Silent Hill! Yes, this is my favorite survival horror franchise. Yes, I love you Resident Evil. I love you, don't get jealous. But I'm sorry, Silent Hill for the freaking win. And you know, I love Silent Hill and I can't believe it. I can't believe my own ears, but I don't own a Silent Hill. I don't own a Silent Hill t-shirt. So yes, for the freaking win. Next up, we have a DVD. And uh, oh, it's not a common DVD. It's a horror block short film festival 2015. So yes, this is current. And uh, of course, the short films are, you know, horror based. What do you think? Like comedy or drama or something? Yes, this is a horror block, remember. Not a dancing, musical, high school, whatever block. And uh, we have here like, I think they have five shorts. I'm gonna check this out, definitely. But yeah, this is pretty awesome. Also, I am pretty surprised they, they host a film festival. So, as a producer, as a, you know, geek, as a nerd, as a pro wrestler, as a horror lover, I like this. Let's move on. And now we have this book. And I'm not a fan of books because I like pictures and little drawings. But this is weird stats and morbid facts. And I love facts. This is like the Snapple fact of morbid things. Let's check it out and read a few, okay? And we have, okay, bloodlines. It also has like little bitty tiny facts like five things you didn't know of. In this case, Stephen King. And let's just read one. King was barely living as a t-shirt in 1973 when the paperback rights for Carrie sold to, oh my God, 400,000 bucks. An amount comparable to approximately 2,135,000 in today's economy. So yes, uh, he got lucky with that. No, no, of course he did it. It's Stephen King. He aw he's awesome. And Carrie's freaking awesome. So go watch it. And we're in the final round with this horror block. So let's check the magazine. And as always, I love the magazine. Why do I love the magazine? Because I find out of the most weirdest B-movies out there. Really, this is, and check this out, it's talking about The Human Centipede 3. And to be honest, I've only seen the first one. It's not that bad, you know, it's not that graphical as you might think. I haven't seen full sequence, that's number two, and number two. <laughs> so, I uh, gotta check, I don't know man, okay, I'm crazy. I'm a guy that, you know, I breathe fire and stuff, so I have to check it out. 
But really, if you want to see like the weirdest, oh my god, you have to you have to check this out, man. I, I love this. I'm really I'm a sucker for this, man. I can't complain. I love it. If you want to check like the most morbid things in your mind or in somebody else's mind, you have to check this magazine. And what else can you say of a magazine that has the human centipede on its cover? And it has like fighting squirrels. Fighting squirrels, really? My final thought, guys, is that you should definitely get Horror Block because it's awesome, but they're not paying me, no. But you know what? They should, guys. This is Karakamo Gaming. Like! <laughs> <laughs>